Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, today, for my how-to video, I'm going to be teaching you how to weather my M1, uh, M1911 from World War II. This is the World War II style theme, skin thing. So, um, what I'm going to do is give it, I've already weathered it, like, uh, scratches and make it all look beat up and worn like it's been through some stuff and now we're gonna make it look like it's been through like some trenches so i've mixed up some brown and black to make like a sludge color here in my tray so just mix in you don't want a lot because a lot of it's gonna get water, water down like you don't want a lot of it so just squirt a little bit of brown paint a little bit of black paint make the perfect mix you want and then mix it up to a nice color whatever you want it and then you just want to take some water. Mine's already brown for painting this stuff. So just pour like a tad bit of water into your tray or plate or whatever you want to mix your paint on. And then just mix the color of the paint, mix your paint color into. Let me show you what I'm doing. Just give it, mix it into. Uh, here we gave it the water, the color, right? So then make sure you have some paper towels. So I always keep some right over here. Make sure you're wearing um, good clothes for this. I'm not like, some stupid. Um, take your gun or whatever you're weathering. This can be applied to anything you do. Make it look like it's been through stuff. Make it look like it's been places. Make it look real. So you take it. And then if you also want it to be more like chunky, like mud, it's probably better if you add a tad less water to it. So it keeps a consistency of like the mud thing. But I just have a paint spray. And you just get it into all the crevices so I'm just gonna start right here first all right so it looks like that that does not look real right so then you take your paper towel and you wipe up as much of it as possible and then you leave behind all the stuff in the crevice it's kind of hard to see I'll get a light for you well, now you can, it's hard to tell but it looks really good in the finished product especially in person and it just looks it makes it look so much more real on top with the and just don't be afraid to add a ton of it you want to just add so much it looks like you dropped it in the mud at first and then you weather it all away and it looks really really good don't go heavy with the paper towel because then you'll just take everything off and there'll be nothing there to stay but just make sure you get tons of color all over in this all over everywhere make sure it gets everywhere Come in with your paper towel like so, and wipe it all up, just like that. Make it quick. You don't want to clean everything, because then you won't have the effect. But make sure you tidy it up, just like a quick wipe off on your pants as you're running through the trenches. Like so. Right, get it all in the nooks and crannies so it gets all in tons of detail. If you want to make it like story for the prop, do more weathering on one side than the other to make it look like you dropped it in wherever, and also you can do different wash colors, you can, these are called washes, so you can do like what I did for my Star Wars guns, this gun, I did tons of different washes, I did blue, I did red, I did orange, I did every single color, yellow, brown, black, I did tons of different kinds of washes so that way it gives it an effect of it's been everywhere it's been tons of different planets it's been right it, it appeals more to the story of the gun it's been places this one this has just been in trenches in world war ii it's just been on the battlefield so mud dirt sand baby stuff like that you don't want to add tons of colors on a world war ii gun because they're not colorful they're not they haven't been to like a like a alien planet that has tons of colorful leaves and jungles and maybe different color water. So you just you have to make be wise about what colors you choose for your gun and create a store that's what the, it's all about. So once you're here I'm already done with this side. It's kinda of hard to tell but in over camera but in person it looks way better. It just looks like it has grind all shoved into every place, all the hard to reach spots. It looks really, really good. And if you keep 
keep this just looked regularly this was just silver after I was done washing it and now it looks all super beat up and gross and see so you can see all the blue in there like it just adds so much more detail to props and makes them feel so much more alive and real because if you just have a flat color on your prop it's not gonna look good if you just have like a plain book like I did for one of my like a Skyrim tome it's not gonna look good when it's just a flat color you have to add depth and the best way to add this is to make it look real is to add weathering and it's a pretty good way to do it and also one thing I want to mention is for the metal side just like doing metal what you want to do is you take silver paint I have my silver paint from earlier you score a little bit or I just use it out of the bottle and I did my paint brushing so you take a bigger brush you want to take a bigger brush dip it in and then take a paper towel and rub most of the paint off it's called a dry rub so you want or like a dry brush so you take off all the paint off of the brush so there's not much silver left and then you just scrape it on all the parts that have that you feel like you would scratch up against maybe hit your other gun maybe like scratch up against your holster some rocks stuff like that you drop it like that it's more it's also like the washes that it just adds story you want to add character and story to your prop and you make it want to seem like it's been places you've dropped it it's been beat up you've used it it's your gun like you, or your prop you want to make it seem like it has a story it's been places so it's kind of the same thing over and over again but it's that's basically the whole reason why you do it you just make the prop feel more alive and yeah here's a side that has no weathering at all and then here's a side that has weathering it's kind of hard to tell the difference kind of just dulls down the colors a lot and makes it look really really good i can't wait to do this side where there's all the machinery and it'll just get all dug in there and make it look really really grimy and good and i'm really excited for this to be done and ready to post it on friday for you guys to see and check it out um thanks for watching um hope you guys are excited to see this on friday hope you guys are excited for the next how to video next monday let me know what i should do if you have any ideas or things you want to know how to do that you've seen me do or guys stuff like that just let me know what you guys want me to see or what you guys want to see and i'll get to work on them and i'll see you guys next monday see you